Hello, good evening, I'm Kate, and welcome to a holiday edition of Kate Makes. So tonight, I'm going to be making a holiday margarita. We all know what goes into a regular margarita, pretty simple, tequila, lime juice, and some orange liqueur, shake it up, do a salt rim or not, and you're ready to go. But tonight, we're gonna have a, a few more festive ingredients that I'm really excited to see how it turns out. So, like a lot of Kate Makes, I have never made this before, so I will be making it and enjoying it along with you. So let's get started. What are you gonna need for tonight? Well, you're gonna need a shaker. I prefer a two-part shaker. You've got this one filled with ice here, but you can also use one that comes with a strainer on top. I just like this because it lets you shake it. It's, it's more intense shaking, which I like. And then we've got a strainer, which may or may not come with your shaker. We've got a chilled glass, whatever glass you want to put it in, a coupe glass. This is a whiskey glass, but I just like it because it's very Art Deco. It seems like it goes with the spirit of the time. I've got cinnamon sugar. I've got coconut milk, lime juice, tequila, orange liqueur. I've got Grand Marnier here and some cranberry juice. The recipe actually calls for white cranberry juice, but I've got red, that's what I've got. Sometimes you gotta use what you have, which is great. So I'm curious to see how, if any, it changes the color of the drink. And then I've got some awesome large ice cubes. In order to serve, I just think it makes it look really nice. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to rim our cocktail glass. So we're just gonna take an orange, or an orange wedge, a lemon, a Lemon, I think I got this one, a lime wedge. And we're gonna rub it around the rim of the glass. Make sure you get it on the top here, otherwise you won't get the cinnamon sugar to stick. Now, um, a recipe I had used called for, to make your cinnamon sugar, called for um, three parts sugar and one part cinnamon. I actually did four parts because I like, I like a little less cinnamon, a little more sugar with, with this drink, I think is gonna be good. So let's just do that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Look at how nice that is. All right, so we're gonna get that ready here. So we've got our ice here, and basically it's a pretty simple drink. I like to keep it simple, especially before Zoom towns, you know, you just want something simple. But we're gonna put all this in the container and shake it up. So we're gonna start with an ounce and a half of tequila. So this is silver tequila, which is clear. What's the difference, you may ask? Well, um, like a gold tequila has either caramel coloring in it or it's been aged in barrels, and usually oak barrels, I think, um, which makes it more like a sippin' whiskey or something like that. Uh, we're gonna do half an ounce of orange liqueur. You can do triple sec, you can do Grand Marnier, whatever you have on hand. And this jigger, this is an ounce. I'm just gonna, you know, it's the holidays. I'm gonna sweeten it up a little bit. I'm gonna put a little bit more than half an ounce in. So half an ounce there. Half an ounce of cranberry juice. Good for your kidneys, cranberry juice. You didn't know it. <laughs> All right, then we're gonna do half an ounce of lime juice. This is fresh squeezed lime like I like to do, but if you have you know, one of those little squeezies, that's totally fine too. And then one ounce of coconut milk. Now this, as you can see, is nice and thick. It is coconut milk from a can. You can also buy, you know, if you other non-dairy milks in the grocery store in the milk section. You can just get like a nice vanilla uh, or regular coconut milk and use that as well. It'll just be a little bit thinner. And I want to do luxurious and creamy because it's the holidays, so that's what I'm going to do. Alrighty, and we're going to put gonna put my pint glass here and we're going to shake it. So usually. I tend to shake stuff for about 30 seconds or so, but because I'm doing this on camera, it might be a little less, but I also tend to feel the metal of the bottom of the shaker. And when it gets like really, really cold, and sometimes you can start to see, see it working on the glass, the frost come up, then you know it's done. All right, 
Ooh. I'm never like adventurous enough to do the like Tom Cruise and cocktail. You know, if I did this a little more, maybe I would. All right, you put your strainer on top. Now, before we strain it, I'm gonna get out one of my awesome ice cubes. Voila! Put that in your glass here. I'm gonna take off, ooh, got a little bit of lime over here. I'm just gonna get rid of that. Okay, now, here we go, moment of truth. Oh! It is actually not too red. It's actually like sort of a color of eggnog in a way, which also, hey, if you just wanna get some eggnog, put it in a glass and be ready to go tonight, that's okay too, I, I don't judge. All right, now we wanna garnish. For garnish, I have a lime wedge. Da -da. I have a beautiful rosemary sprig. This is like, it's just the essence, right, of, of the season, whether you're in California or you're in New York or East Coast. It just makes you, it makes me think of going, <laughs> in Illinois, we would go to a, a farm to cut down our tree. And this is like, if that were a drink, this is what this would be. All right, and then I'm gonna take a few lovely cranberries. Oh, hi, Larry. Larry the cat is saying hello. Put that in there. Oh, yes, oh, yes, okay. So here we go. Here's our beautiful drink. Now it's time to taste it. Ooh. So this is a, oof. When, okay, I got the cinnamon and sugar rim of the glass after, and it made it amazing. So it's a very creamy, citrusy drink, which is really interesting. Because I usually go for like, you know, bourbon drinks, but I saw this one and I thought, this just looks really cool and fun. And tequila is something that I don't actually use very often. So this is a nice, a nice time to use it. Nice experiment. I love it. Ooh, let's do one more sip. And like anything, if you like something, if you like your drink sweeter, you can always add some simple syrup, which you can make yourself. Um, I think it's, it's one cup water and half a cup sugar. No, it's one cup water, one cup sugar. And you bring it to almost boiling, do the sugar and then let it cool down and you have your own simple syrup. You can also buy it in the store. So there we have it. A holiday margarita. All right, Boomtown, Zoomtown, Boomtown on Zoom. Holiday Zoomtown is coming up. Thank you so much for joining me. Please enjoy Zoomtown. And if you like what you see, Zoomtown is free. That rhymes, I love it. Please consider donating. Um, but that reminds me to do another huge thank you for making our Colorado Gives Day so successful. This year has been really hard for, for everyone, for theaters, for, for pretty much everyone. And, and so to, to have that amount of support is really wonderful. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And please enjoy the show and your holiday margarita. Cheers.